Hello guys, hope you guys all are fine and doing great. My name is Ibtisam and you guys are watching Coding Depths. And in the last uh, video, I have talked about the decentralized app, uh, decentralized exchange development and uh, I have uh, discussed all the necessary steps that we are going to follow in this uh, while, develop, while building this project. So this is going to be the first video in which I am going to start uh, building the decentralized exchange. And uh, yeah, and uh, let's start uh, with the live like uh, like i have also i i, I already created uh, this dex folder on my desktop and uh, this is going to be the folder in which we are going to build or we, in which we are going to write all the contracts that we need for this decentralized exchange so this is just a simple folder that i have created on my desktop and we are also going to use open zeppelin okay but okay so first of all you guys have to create um, any folder uh, a simple folder uh, with any name so i have created and named it dex and now i'm going to open i already opened my terminal so now i'm going to run one command so okay the the thing is like we are now we are officially started the coding for the decentralized exchange so okay this is our folder and this is my terminal and uh, i'm going to start with the command npm in it okay and then you guys have to press enter 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 okay so yeah and now this is uh, the package dot yeah i got my package dot json file and now i'm going to run uh because we are going to use the truffle framework for this exchange and uh, to uh, to start the truffle framework you guys can also run the truffle init command and i'm going to run the truffle unbox command yeah and then i have to press y and then I, I will get these two folders the contracts folder and then the migrations folder and I don't need these two file these are two contract yeah I can I, I deleted these two contracts and now okay 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 and now let's uh, also install the open zeppelin because we we are going to use open zeppelin because we need some contracts from this library and how we can install it there will be a command yeah okay yeah let's just wait for a few seconds and yes i got this node modules and uh, node modules folder and in the node modules folder i got this open zeppelin folder and now i am going to start uh, and now I'm going to start uh, the the first contract that we are going to build and the first contract is basically a wallet contract and now what is a wallet now why we are going to create this wallet because obviously the DEX uh, the user in the decentralized exchange the users are going to deposit different tokens different ethereum tokens and then uh, we are we, we want to track these different tokens the balances of this these different tokens and who and who are the users that are going to hold these tokens so like this uh, so first the first contract that we are going to build is a wallet contract and then we are going to import this wallet contract into the dex contract because uh, as i mentioned we are going to build the multiple contracts so the first contract is going to track the tokens that uh, that are present in the dex uh, exchange and then the balances uh, of the of the tokens because there are so many there can be any different uh, there, there can be uh, multiple uh, erc20 tokens that can present in our decentralized exchange so you guys will uh, learn more about when uh, we are building this and uh, let's uh, create a file in the contracts folder and name it wallet dot sol okay and now the first line obviously it's the pragma it's the pragma solidity okay and now i'm going to use the version number i think because of my typo mistakes so okay and now i'm going to use the version number 0 0.6.0 okay to 0 0.8.0 this is going to be our uh, version number as i think there is no mistake yeah and now let's define the contract name and the contract name is like contract uh, wallet and pragma sol there is there is i think there is no error but why i am getting this red line okay we will see and now 
let's start with the first line of code in our wallet contract so as i mentioned as i mentioned like we are going to track the different tokens different erc20 tokens in our decentralized exchange and uh, in our decentralized exchange so we are we are going to need a mapping for this and this should uh, this is going to be the double mapping because we need the token address and then we also need the token symbol the token symbol may be like tup maybe like btc maybe like eth so this should be a double mapping like uh, let me uh, let me code this so like okay and the mapping is like <clears throat> okay so and this uh, this address is going to be uh, is going to mention the token balances like okay so as i mentioned this is going to be the double mapping and the double mapping is like first we need, we have to mention the token address and then it will uh, then it will redirect to the token symbol and for the token symbol i am going to use the bytes 32 okay and the token we can also use the string and why i'm not going why i'm not going to use the string here the string data type because byte 32 is also a data type and string is also a data type in solidity but i am going to use bytes 32 because uh, when you are going to use a string in solidity you cannot compare two strings so for comparison uh, operators for comparison purposes uh, we we are not going to we are not going to get the same result that we want so so it's better to use bytes 32 as a data type uh, so that we can compare the two symbols okay so that is why i'm not going to use a string because i i cannot compare the two strings so okay and then it will and then because as i mentioned this is going to be the double mapping so the address of the token and then it will redirect to the uh, token symbol and then we can see the balances okay 256 and it should be public and then we can name it balances okay 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 ah i think that is why we are going to error because uh, i have not uh, updated my truffle config uh, okay we will update it it's not a problem uh, okay so yeah let's save this file and this is going to be the double mapping we are going to uh, track the token balances in this way this is a double mapping and also and now let's move forward and now i will talk about uh, like also when we are going to track the token balances we also need some kind of you know some kind of struct to to store the token information okay because our dex is going to uh, is going to have multiple different erc20 tokens so we need the so uh, we need to store the token information and how we are going to store we are going to create one struct with the name token and then in the in the struct uh, we are going to have one bytes which is going to be the ticker of the or ticker of any token and then i also want to store the token address because we need this token address as well for transfer calls and what are transfer calls and what because obviously when uh, someone wants to transfer one token to another we need the token address so this is and yeah and now this is just an information about the token and we are going to have the token symbol and we are also going to have the token address and now we want to store this token information and how we can store it first of all i'm going to create one byte uh, byte 32 and i'm going to store the token symbol first in an array and the array data type is bytes 32 and it should be a public and let's name it token list okay and now let's uh, create one more mapping and the mapping it will redirect to from bytes 32 from the token symbol to the token information the to the token struct i i would say and now okay uh, and it should be public and uh, let's name it token mapping
okay so this is how we are going to store the token information so we are going to store all the token symbol into the bytes 32 array with the name token list and then we are going to redirect this we can uh, redirect any uh, token symbol to the token information to the token struct and we name it token mapping uh, and from this token mapping we can get uh, the token ticker we can get the token address and yeah and uh, so this is just a simple uh, a very simple smart contract obviously we are going to extend this contract more this is just a start so what we have till right now uh, we have we can track the token balances and we can also have uh, the token information and we are going to store this token information uh, also so yeah and now let's move forward so um, i just changed the compiler version to 0 0.8.0 and i also changed it to the truffle uh, config file as well so that we cannot uh, so that now we are not getting the error and yeah and now let's move forward and now i'm going to create some few functions and uh, the functions are going to create uh, are going to add uh, different tokens into the wallet contract and so let's do it and the function name will be the add token and the parameters that we are going to use or the uh, or the arguments that we are going to use so the first argument will be the bytes 32 and the bytes 32 uh, is going to be the ticker is going to be the symbol uh, of our uh, token and then we are going to use the address data type and for the address data type because we also need the symbol and we also need the address of the token so that we can store the token and it uh, and it is going to be an external function because we are not going to use it from this contract and we can also save some gas for this for our smart contract and yeah and this is just a function uh, definition you can say uh, the function name is add token and we are going to use two arguments the first argument is sticker and the second argument is the token address and now we are going to uh, use it with the help of token mapping and the token mapping where it is here it is this and the token mapping needs a bytes 32 bytes 32 data type so here in this case the ticker is going to be the bytes 32 and this token mapping is going to redirect to the struct okay and the struct name is token okay because you can see this is the token mapping and this token mapping is redirecting from bytes 32 to the token and token is a struct and this struct needs two arguments the first one is the ticker and the second one is the address so like token address that we are going to and both these arguments we are getting from these from these arguments of these function of this function and yeah and now we are also going to save the token uh, the token symbol into the token list and uh, let's call the token list yeah token list and uh, dot push because token list is an array and ticker so yeah so this is how we can uh, store the token symbols into this array token list array and yeah and then from with the help of this mapping uh, we are going to store the token information into the token struct so this is one function and the second function that we are going to use is going to be the deposit function so that user can deposit uh, the token the token amount and the token and the token symbol basically so like uh, if a user wants to deposit some tokens then uh, we should know about the amount and and which token is going to be a which token uh, is going to be deposit so first argument is going to be the amount and the second argument is going to be the token symbol and again we are going to use bytes 32 okay and again it is going to be the external function and the same we are going to copy this function and ah, we are going to copy this function and we i'm going to paste it here for the withdrawal function so whenever a user want to withdrawal withdrawal function so whenever a user wants to withdraw mm, a, a token 
then you can mention the token amount and token symbol so yeah but this is just a function uh, definition you can say but again now i'm going to talk about one important thing so now we are going to create the function body but uh, whenever a user wants to deposit or withdraw any token with any amount into our dex contract so this is uh, so this is now we are going to we are going to talk about the ownership because right now currently when the user is going to deposit we are going to interact between the owner between the user ownership and and the dex contract so whenever a user has some amount of tokens then obviously a token is going to be an erc20 token contract so we are going to interact with erc20 token contract okay so whenever like in the past videos uh, we have seen like when uh, we are going to um, communicate with external contract then we need two things the first thing is going to be the interface like uh, how the contract looks like and the second thing is the token address is the contract ad address basically so again uh, like uh, this is going to be the ownership between the user, the user ownership and the dex contract and whenever a user wants to deposit we have to communicate with the erc20 token contract whether it's a link contract whether it's a whether it's any erc20 token contract so we have to communicate with erc20 token contract so whenever we want to communicate with external contract we need the interface and we need the token address so this uh, and we are going to add uh, we are going to add uh, in the function body so let's uh, move forward and uh, as i mentioned like uh, we need an e I I e r c 20 uh, like the interface for the erc20 token contract and where we can find the interface so like yeah we have to go to the open zeppelin folder and then in the token folder and then in the erc20 folder so here is the interface for the erc20 token contract uh, and in this interface uh, you guys can see all the function headers are available in this uh, interface so we have to import this uh, we have to import this in our contract in our wallet contract and we have to write one line of code for that uh, yeah with the semicolon and then we have to go back and then we have to mention the folder node modules and in the node modules there is an folder of open on zeppelin at open zeppelin z and then oh, i think we are in the token folder no we are in the contracts folder and then in the token folder and then in the erc20 and uh, in the erc20 folder we are in the i there is a file of ierc Twenty sol so yeah so that is how we can import the interface for the erc20 token contract because in this interface we have all the function headers that we are going to need for the deposit function and the withdrawal function so yeah so this is it from this video and in this in the in the next video we are going to extend this wallet contract so see you guys in the next video